In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve two equations simultaneously with the help of a method that's called elimination. Now, as the word elimination suggests, what we do in it is that we eliminate any one variable. Okay, so the objective here is to eliminate any one of the two, or let's just write any one variable. Okay, so before you Eliminate any one variable, of course, you have to decide what variable that you are, what variable it is that you are going to eliminate. So here we have two equations, 4x minus 3y equals to 14 is equation number 1, and 2x plus y equals to minus 3 is equation number 2. Now, suppose I decide to eliminate y, and I'll tell you why I've decided that. The reason why I've decided is, is because in order to do elimination, you got to have a positive value, and you got to have the same but negative value in the other equation okay so the coefficients should be the same in value but the signs should be opposite let me show you what i mean so like i said since i've decided to eliminate y i can see that the coefficient of y in the first equation is minus 3 okay so what do i need to add in minus 3y so that it gets eliminated and by eliminated i mean uh, i mean it gets zero so i need to add the opposite of minus 3y which is going to be positive 3y so that means i got to make sure that the coefficient of y in the second equation is equal to positive 3 so it is not equal to positive 3 right now as you can see it's equal to 1 that means i'm going to let my first equation be as it is or i'm just going to multiply it by 1 okay you don't necessarily have to show that it's multiplied by 1 we can just copy paste it so 4x minus 3y equals to 14 so here's equation number one the second equation however i'm going to multiply it by 3 so what does it become? Remember that we are going to multiply all the values by 3, okay? So 2x plus y and minus 3, all three of them. So this becomes 6x plus 3y equals to minus 9, okay? Now, what do I need to do in order to eliminate the two? I'm going to add the two equations. And once I do that, minus 3y plus 3y gets eliminated. 4x plus 6x becomes 10x. And 14 minus 9 is equal to so that means I can now very easily figure out the value of x. So x is going to be equal to 5 upon 10. 5 upon 10 is equal to 0 0.5 or you can write it as half if you wish. Now that we already have the value of x, we can very conveniently figure out the value of y. So I'm going to use any one of the two equations and I can also use the previous equation. By that I mean the equation that I had before I multiplied it by 3. So in, in other words, let me show you the equation that I'm going to use here. I'm going to highlight it for blue. I'm going to highlight it in blue for you. So here it is, 2x plus y equals to minus 3. I can use this equation, 2x plus y equals to minus 3. In place of x, I'm going to plug in 1 upon 2 plus y as it is equals to minus 3. So the 2 and 2 get cancelled out. So 1 plus y equals to minus 3. And what's the value of y? The value of y is equals to minus 3, minus 1. That means y is equals to minus 4. So there you have it. We now have the value of y also. So in case it's not clear to, to you, in case this concept is not clear to you, it's nothing to worry about. We're going to do another question. So here we have, again, two equations, 3x plus 4y equals to 17, and we have 2x minus 5y equals to 19. Now, let's say I want to eliminate x here, okay? So what, what variable is it that I'm going to eliminate? Let's say I want to eliminate the variable x. So let's look at the coefficient of x in the first equation. We can see that it's positive 3. And in the second equation, we can see that it's positive 2. So you got to think of our common multiple of 3 and 2. Okay, and if, you, if, you, if you're having trouble figuring that out, you can just multiply the two together. So we get 6. Okay, now the objective is that we need to make the coefficient of x positive 6 in one equation and negative 6 in the other. Okay, there's no, there's no compulsion as uh, it should be positive in which equation and in which equation should it be negative. Okay, so here's what I've decided. I'm going to make sure that the coefficient of x is positive 6 in the second equation, in, in the first equation, sorry, which means I need to multiply it by 2. So this becomes 6x plus 8y, 17 times 2 is 34. And I've also decided that I'm going to make the coefficient of x negative 6 in the second equation, which means I'm going to have to multiply it by minus 3. So that gives me minus 3x plus 15y, since minus minus gives us plus, equals to 19 times 3, which is equal to 57, but with a negative sign. Okay. Now I'm going to add these two equations. And what happens when I do that? Minus 6x plus 6x gets eliminated. 8y plus 15y will give me 23y. 
and what is 34 minus 57? 34 minus 57 is minus 23. So we now have the value of y, which is going to be minus 23 upon 23. That means y is equals to negative 1. Now that you have the value of y, let's, it's not the end of the equation. It's not the end of the question. It means that we still have to figure out the value of x. So let's use the first equation, 3x plus 4y equals to 17. Now I have the value of y, so I'm just going to plug it in in place of y, of course. So what do we get? We get 3x minus 4 equals to 17, which means that 3x equals to 17 plus 4, and that's 21. And x is equal to 21 upon 3, which is 7. Now remember, you can always check your answer. And it, it is recommended that you should check your answer to make sure that the values that you've gotten are correct. So I'm going to plug in the value of x and y in both the equations, just to make sure that the value on the left hand side is equal to the value on the right hand side. So 3 times 7 is 21. 21 minus 4 is in fact 17. So that means we've done this correctly. Let's do the same for the second equation. 2 times x, the value of x is now 7 minus 5 times minus 1 equals to 19. So 14 minus minus is plus 5 equals to 19. Yep, 14 plus 5 is in fact equal to 19. So that means we've done, uh, we figured out these values correctly. So that's how students you can solve two equations simultaneously with the help of a method that's called substitution. Now, if you want to learn how to, sorry, elimination. If you want to learn how to solve two equations by elimination, I have a video on it, which I will leave in the description box. You can watch that. And if there are any other topics that you want me to make a video on, please let me know. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification icon. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.